行ってみよう All right, what's good, guys? Johan here to bring a quick impressions video on the、uh, new Mythic Hero, the new Mythic Banner that we got.、Um, unfortunately, a banner dropped while I was at work, and、uh, I didn't really have a chance to avoid spoilers or anything. So, yeah, I'm just, I know it's Medius, which is really awesome. It's, he's been long overdue considering he's the <laughs> OG villain of the whole series. So, Crazy, it took this long, literally half a decade, but here we are. He's finally in the game.、Uh, I'm just gonna give my quick thoughts on him, how I might, how I feel he might impact the game, the meta, and how especially his C skill there he's got. So,、uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started real quick. Oh, yeah. Earth Dragon King, drawn by. Alright, l awesome. Drawn by Daisuke Zuka, of course, the one and only、uh, Arcanea、uh, main character designer and stuff, artist af-、uh, from New Mystery, I believe. Not sure if he did Shadow Dragon much. Pretty sure he was mostly New Mystery, but I could be mistaken.、Um, but either way, he's been doing amazing work for Fe and Cypher, and、uh, of course, he's back for Medius. It looks incredible. He also did. Um, Ashnard and of course, like Martha and the Chris's, and one more. Like, why, why am I forgetting? One more notable villain. I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, Harden, Harden. Yeah, and they all look incredible. This is definitely no different. So, super hype. Um, I do like his English voice. I haven't checked the Japanese yet, but I imagine it'd be pretty solid. Um, so colorless infantry dragon, not armored, which is pretty notable here, honestly. Um, colorless is always good. And being infantry is actually gonna be, considering his kit, is gonna be honestly pretty annoying to kill in ARO.、Um, like, from ARO. So, yeah, it, especially since we don't have Naga in this season, it's gonna be a little tricky, I think. Like, But if you have a way to deal with Fallen Edelgard, I'd imagine it's gonna be pretty similar. You just need to. Not rely on effective damage, just need someone who's just Hi, tanky、Nia. enough to deal with him. Maybe typical near savers may be able to handle him. I'm not exactly sure, but if you have no follow up, it should be a walk in the park, I'd imagine. So we'll see. But he's still, he's gonna have like 40 to 60% damage reduction, which is crazy. But anyway,、uh, let's go on with his actual kit. By the way, Dark Mythic, first Dark Mythic in a year, basically. <clears throat> Since we got Note, I believe was the last one, which is crazy.、Uh, Alright, l so we got Shadow Breath, grants attack plus three at start of turn, grants visible attack plus res, visible buff、uh, attack res plus six, and on guard to unit and allies within two spaces for one turn. So basically, like、uh, Ashra, except it's giving on guard instead of no panic. And if foe initiates combat or if foe is healthy, inflicts attack res minus six on them. And they cannot make a follow up attack, so they got that wary fighter, and he's got the adaptive damage. So, the, the no follow up, the not no follow up, the wary fighter effect part of it is kind of whatever, honestly, but in tandem with Assured Rebirth down there, it's, I mean, it's pretty solid overall.、Uh, Glacies for it's just kind of funny seeing that on like a crazy, this big deal of a unit, it's just kind of Glacies. 80% of rest, that's it. <laughs> but. Regardless, he's got defense res ideal 4, which is alright.、Uh, Mention you might want to swap this out,、uh, maybe for distant stance or something like that. Maybe a guard effect just to deal with、uh, no follow uppers, but we'll see once, the, once we see like, what the deal is with this guy more.、Um, assured rebirth if unit's res is greater than foe's res, not at the start of combat, so this is not visible, I believe.、Uh, unit makes a guaranteed follow up attack. And reduces damage from attacks that are,、uh, during combat. And from AoE effects based on his, the res difference. And also having a staff or dragon ally within three spaces based on the number of those. So it can cap at 60, which is pretty sick, honestly.、Um, yeah, it's a, this is a nice call out to、uh, the final chapter of Mystery the Emblem. So, really cool.、Um, Yeah, again, this makes him really annoying to kill unless you are well equipped with it with anti、uh, damage reduction stuff or 
uh, things of that nature, just a really good sa near save unit or combat unit. So yeah, we'll see how much he affects uh, defenses, uh, like how much he powers up defenses. Of, of course, the sea slot is one of the biggest. This is probably the biggest deal that comes from this. So that's Kanto Control Three, which is what we already saw in Mikoto. Uh, if we fall within four spaces, triggers Kanto inflicts Kanto, Kanto Control on them. So yeah, this is inheritable, which. It's pretty crazy. Uh, has a lot of implications for a lot of the PvP modes, especially summoner duels. Obviously, it's gonna be pull bait for that. But it's also, of course, really strong on ARD as well. It helps you deal with a lot of those hit and run strategies, which is, which have been really powerful. Uh, obviously, we still don't really have a hard way to deal with a hard counter to um, save balls with Elamine and damage reduction and stuff like that. Aside from just really specializing your defense to deal with it. Um, but nonetheless, this deals with one of the more uh, meta strategies in ARO. I don't know how I feel about, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of just another one of those skills that's, you know, uh, release the problem, sell the solution, etc, etc. The loop continues. Um, but I think this is going to be seen in more of the positive light because of how broken Kanto is in general. Especially in summoner duels, so yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see how the meta gradually shifts because of this skill. Uh, I don't know, but for me personally, I I wish I could pull all of this, but I'm still saving for Mia. My original plan was to pull on this banner because of Mikaya, and it was likely that she was going to release with the new mythic, which she did. Uh, but Mia happened, so that went all out of the door. But yeah, looking forward to see how this shifts things. This is this is definitely a really good addition to the game i would say at the current state um so yeah I, I, as as lame as like releasing solutions to problems is uh when it makes such a gigantic meta shift especially when the meta is not really like not really in the best place i think this is in the better this is for the better overall a net positive if you will uh so yeah uh pretty dope pretty dope <laughs> All right, so I love, love, love his sprite here. Wish you could see more, of the, but uh, more of his body, but I guess you know limitations. That's definitely Medius, all right. So there is the cancel control going off, and there's the icon for on guard. Suffer and die. Pretty nice. Also, something to note actually um, is on guard. Yeah, I didn't talk about on guard at all. On guard um, obviously is a counter to the bolt tower stuff, which a lot of people are annoyed by. Uh, you honestly don't see bolt tower that often in. Um, maybe, maybe you do. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people. I haven't seen my defense face a lot of bolt tower um, strategies lately. Especially because once you once fence came out, like you want this space in your offense line, and you just want to use safety fence and your bonus tower, not clog up your line too much. But people still still use them, um, and this is one of the answers. And this also means you can um, on guard means you can place a bolt trap like right near your uh, your team now without facing the double edged sword of that. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And another thing that's notable, I would say, is pretty sure this also means you can use stuff like fury and push skills and disimpression and stuff like that without taking the recoil damage um this i don't know how good this will be overall maybe you could do some cute stuff in some ar well not ar because he's defense but um like summoner duels or you could do some cute combos in arena but i'm not sure if it's like that big a deal, I don't think it's that big a deal, honestly. But it could be nice to be able to run distant pressure on my Mia uh, without taking all that recoil damage and like summoner duels and have her as a better front line unit. But yeah, um, otherwise it's not that big a deal, I want to say. It, it definitely doesn't affect me. I don't use Bolt Tower at all. So it's just nice for the people who just really hate dealing with it. It does buff like the, the uh, save ball type of defenses which is 
kind of annoying, but at this point you probably should have a counter to that those types of defenses by now, so I don't think it'll matter too much. But yeah, all right, let's check out what's who's on the. Uh... Oh wait, I forgot to mention stats. His stats. His stats. We saw his stats. Uh, all right. Yeah, bas basically what you'd expect. <laughs> Once again, 40 HP like everyone else has in this day and age. But he's got 63 attack before the buff and after equipping the weapon. So that's 60... Uh, whatever, math. <laughs> uh, I don't want to think about math right now. And he's got 43 base res and 38 base, base defense. You know, low speed, really tanky. Uh, more on the res side. Yeah, he's going to be a nuisance, especially on his bonus season. But... Despite all this, I'm not sure... Well, it depends on your defense, obviously. For me, personally, I would take Knot and Triandra over running Medius any day of the week. Especially with how my defense functions. So, I have no real desire to pull for him, specifically. Um, but... I could definitely see him being really valuable for other teams. I think he will be... If you just sack him for... Uh, Cancel control on one of your important defense units, like even Note, for example. Uh, well, she's frontline, so maybe not. But if you have Note with protected by a save unit, maybe that's uh, maybe that would work. But I feel like uh, Pathfinder and Dancer provides way more movement manipulation for your team than I think it's more important than having Medius just chilling there. So yeah, obviously if you have like save vault type of defense, he'll probably be better than Note. But yeah. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the banner lineup. So, honestly, not the best of lineups overall. Colorless is definitely the one that stands out here. Um, so for red, we have Flavia, Mirabilis, and Altina. That is just awful. <laughs> Most people should have a Mirabilis by now. Altina is awful. Garbage <laughs> in AR. Flavia is whatever. So, definitely probably staying away the worst of the bunch here. Uh, Blue has Dimitri, Ascended Thune, and Julia. Which, um, if you don't have a Thune, a Thune is so good. She's probably carrying that color on. Dimitri got better with Vital Astra. So, I think Blue's alright. Julia's still fine as a unit. And I think she'll be getting a remix. Not soon, but like, she's, she's coming up. She's coming up um, after this first wave. So... Blue is okay if you, especially if you're trying to merge those two up, and if you want like a Thune for far saving or whatnot. So, and, or you want the Floret. So blue is okay, I would say, uh, not the worst, not the best either. Uh, green has Thor. Uh, let's see, Thor, Odor, and Hell. Two defense mythics, which is pretty eh. Um, two defense mythics that are kind of whatever, honestly. And Thor, Thor is really good, but we just had her on Hero Rises, obviously. So, I feel like mo this would probably be a skip for most people. And then we have Colorless, which is really good. We got Legendary Mikaya, Elamine, who's a meta shifter for AR uh, on Anima Season, Astra Season. And we got, of course, your boy, Medius here, who is both a solid defense mythic and has really good father. So... Yeah, Colorless is the winner here for sure, followed by, I would say, blue and then green and then red. So, but of course, in the end of the day, whatever you need to summon for, whatever you need to prioritize, focus on that for your, for progression on your account. Uh, as for me, unfortunately, I would have gone Colorless a lot, but of course, I have to say for Mia. But yeah, all right, that'll do it for this video. Uh, yeah, of course, we can spark and all that. So, yeah, I feel like, oops, sorry. I feel like I will be pulling pretty soon on the Mia banner probably when the month rolls over we're not getting a TT I forgot I since we're getting the fallen banner we're getting forging bonds instead so unfortunate but after I get the um, monthly refresh orbs I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull on the banner I should have I don't know maybe I might swipe a little bit too so maybe like 300 ish orbs we'll see but yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this kind of went longer than I expected but regardless uh, let me know what you guys think about this banner for sure. Uh, it's definitely really cool that he's finally in this game. Hopefully we can get Nurgle soon too. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Leave questions for me for my next poll video actually. If you haven't already. Uh, re would really appreciate having topics to talk about. See you next time.